We begin in Bali, where the two-day-long G20 summit is now underway. South Korean President Yoon Sung yeol is there, along with other world leaders, to take part in the multilateral event. Pleased to say we have our editor-in-chief, Moon Gon Yong, uh, in, the, in Bali for us. She's traveling along with the South Korean leader. Kon Yong, um, your day should be just about getting to a start there. Right. Um, well, uh, good afternoon to you, Mark. Uh, President Yoon Suk Yeol is uh, waking up to his second and final day here in Bali and his final day of a six-day ASEAN tour, which also took him to Cambodia. Now, um, he actually just made his way to the venue of the G20 summit, where he is joined by other leaders of the group of 20 emerging and advanced economies. So he will be making his debut there, but we're actually learning just now that uh, uh, Presidents Yoon and Chinese President Xi Jinping will be having their first in-person one-on-one later this evening at 5 p.m. Bali time and 6 p.m. South Korea time. Their first one on the sidelines of the G20 summit here in Bali. Now that is significant because South Korean President has had a one-on-ones with U.S. counterpart, Japanese counterpart, and in the trilateral framework in Cambodia just yesterday, where they were able to produced a joint communique, joint statement, where they condemned North Korea and vowed a joint action, which was the strongest yet so far. So it is interesting to see how the Chinese response would be to that. Of course, South Korea also announced a new initiative on the Indo-Pacific strategy, which also uh, lays out its new initiative, saying that it, it is endorses a, a free and open Indo-Pacific region. So we need to know what the Chinese response Response would be to that. Chinese President Xi Jinping had a meeting with uh, U.S. President Joe Biden last night, and coming on the fresh heels of that, we'd like to know what the Chinese President has to say to South Korean President Yoon Suk Yeol. So it was absolutely necessary for South Korean President Yoon Suk Yeol to uh, secure this meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping for the very first time in three years for the leaders of these two countries to be meeting, and uh, it would be interesting to uh, see what that will come out from that meeting. So we'll have to wait and see. But North Korea will be top on their agenda, as well as South Korea's new initiative on the Indo-Pacific. And on the joint communique between South Korea, U.S. and Japan, there was that mention of Taiwan. Now, after the uh, Biden-Xi meeting last night, Chinese state media said that China's red line, Xi Jinping said, was Taiwan, that U.S. or any other country should leave China behind on the Taiwan issue, that it was an internal issue. So whether uh, President Xi mentions any of the Taiwan issue to President Yoon, that would be another issue to look out for, Mark. Yeah, a lot going on there in uh, Bali, um, a lot to keep up with, of course, uh, you doing all the hard work for us. Uh, but what else does President Yoon have on his agenda for the remainder, if we take out this meeting with Xi Jinping uh, during the rest of his time at the Group of 20 summit. Right, so as important as this bilateral between uh, Yun and Xi is, this Group of 20 is uh, President Yun's debut stage on the G20 multilateral uh, stage. He will be addressing the uh, health and food security session in the morning, and later on in the afternoon, he will be addressing the uh, health session. Excuse me, in the morning, he'll be addressing the food and energy session, and in the afternoon, he'll be addressing the health uh, session. So we'll be waiting to see what kind of messages the South Korean president has and President Yoon has as a leader of this nation. Um, after which, we'll have a gala dinner with a group of 20 nations, and he'll wrap up his Southeast Asian tour later at night, and he'll be returning home. Mark. Kon Yong, thank you very much for that. Please uh, get out of the sunshine now uh, before you get burnt. We appreciate your reporting, as always. Thank you very much.